done. Anybody had any personal personal situations with it so far? Where they've tried to go through and they try to just focus on business and they don't do core four in the stack and then they're off point and all of a sudden they're making terrible business decisions and all of a sudden they're on this up and down wave again, Preston, of emotions. So it's mostly everybody. That, that was my whole life before Legacy Farmer. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Paul, you got some good action items, man. Okay, so Facebook page, putting some content on there, continuing to implement core four in the stack and, and make sure you're in power every day. But then the other piece too, right, is you're not gonna market, you're not gonna get clear on your message unless you speak your message, which means you're gonna have to get comfortable feeling weird holding up a phone or speaking any type of audio or whatever it is and just talking about your message and talking about yourself. It's uncomfortable for a lot of people and it should be, right? It definitely should be. Okay, but you have to like, everybody sucks in the beginning. Everybody is terrible in the beginning. You look at my old videos from back in 2016 and 2017, the phone is like literally shaking. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like Facebook Live, man. And I'm like, the phone is shaking. I look like a complete idiot. But if you're willing to walk through that path, like dude, you'll, you will be successful. You will be successful. Because nobody else, guess what? 99% of people on this planet are not willing to do that. Okay, great. They're not willing to do it. I'm going to go do it then because I know I'll be ahead of them. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Are you a little overwhelmed or not too bad? No, I just, I've been wanting to do this for a long time as far as getting and advertising, but you know, I was thinking ahead of ads, not, well, what's my page look like, you know? Yep. Never look at it. Yeah. When a new prospect comes in the door, like what are they seeing? Yeah. What information am I taking them through? Like what's the actual process of turning this prospect into a paying client and helping them make the buying decision, make the buying decision before they even get on the phone with me. Paul, you were already saving up for this program before you even got on the phone with me. Mm -hmm. You had already made the buying decision before you got on the phone with me. Yes. That's where I want all of you guys to get to. Brandon Vining, oh my God, that would change everything for you and your business if you figure out this process and saying, hey, how do I provide the right content, the right information to where you're ready to make a buying decision before you ever even speak to me? And Paul, with, constru I mean, with construction, you're gonna be able to do that. Like that'll be pretty easy. Put up a badass garage that you put up and then you have a testimonial there, or a video, or you literally on video with the person talking about what they love about the garage. Game over. Okay. You start marketing that and actually turning that into an ad, game over for your area. You will overtake every single person that's in construction because the majority of people around there that are in construction, they're probably trying to do everything, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And the cool thing is I can go back to ones I've already done and interview them and the con I just got to make the contact. Yeah. You're building up this asset portfolio. 